Canelo Alvarez signature scent. Well, it's the dude for Canelo Alvarez signature scent. I'm going with Cholo, but he smells so good. Uh, hey, what is that smell you got on? What is the cologne? That what is cologne? the cologne? It's a Arabian. Uh, No, it's not Baharat King. No, it's not Baharat. This is Canelo Alvarez signature scent. Well, it's a dupe for Canelo Alvarez signature scent. This is a dupe to DNG Dolce & Gabbana, obviously. The One Luminous Night, the Arabic version of Dolce & Gabbana. Canelo Alvarez is signed to Dolce & Gabbana. They have, he signed a no-compete clause for Dolce & Gabbana, so that means he can't wear any other brands in the same market. Immediately on the opening, you get that Amber Oud fragrance. You get some sandalwood in it too. I get some bergamot, I get some basil. Elegant, sophisticated, mature, luxurious. It starts with the opening of the amber oud and then it slowly transitions to that freshness of the basil and the bergamot. Powerful sillage. Your aroma is definitely gonna stay in the room when you leave. The projection is strong enough to smell it 10 yards away. It smells very identical to the original for 10% of the price. This is a fragrance that I would definitely wear to a wedding. The one and only Moonlight Fragrance World. We have Fragrance World Imperium. It's the Cinderella fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that when you walk in to an event, everybody's gonna be at awe when they smell you, but it won't be for long. It does not last long, unfortunately. But if you do mix it with perfume oils, you can get a lot out of this. Unique, versatile, rich, luxurious. The vibrant citrusy opening balances out itself with the woody and spicy undertones. I love the commitment to the craftsmanship of this fragrance. This is a dupe to Roja's Elysium. It embodies Roja's Elysium to its fullest extremity. If you like the Creed DNA, then you will love this. You fall in love with this right here. This is an everyday versatile fragrance. It's not offensive. It's very sexy and romantic, but it also can be worn to work. It also can be worn to family gatherings, family barbecues. It can be worn to church. It's multifaceted. The projection is strong. The sillage is pretty good, but the longevity is not the best. That's why I call it the Cinderella fragrance. When you walk in, Everybody's gonna be at all, but it won't be for long. Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. Exact dupe to Louis Vuitton imagination. This is Carlos Calas Blue Spice. It has a citrusy green tea opening, creamy, soapy, musky, dry down. I get the green, I get the lavender, I get the basil, I get the bergamot, I get the black pepper, I get the citrusy lime lemon. The longevity is pretty decent, and when I say decent, I mean four to six hours long. 